Hi guys, things change fast. One day your motion design looks fresh, the next day it feels like it belongs in a museum. But no worries, we've got you covered. Today we're diving into 3 must know motion design trends for 2025. And by the end of this tutorial you'll have an animation packed with all of the trends. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you can grab the project files on our Patreon. Let's go! First up, Retro Futurism. The love child of cyberpunk and the 80s. Think neon, grids, noisy gradients and way too much glow. Let's build the basics for it. I start with a solid layer for the background. So I right click in the timeline, go to new and then solid. The color doesn't matter because we're adding a gradient ramp effect on it. Head to the effects and presets panel, search for gradient ramp and apply it. I'm going with a dark blue color palette because that screams future, but pick whatever fits your vibe. Next we need the iconic retro grid. Another solid layer and this time search for grid in the effects and presets panel. Apply it then tweak the settings to get the right look. This is a personal preference but I like to space it out evenly. Now change the blending mode to screen and because everything in a retro futurism glows like a radioactive jellyfish I'm adding a glow effect. I'm using deep glow but the native AE glow works fine too and for that extra retro distortion I slap a CC lens effect on. Again, tweak the settings to your likings. Want to make it even cooler? Let's mask the grid a little bit. Grab the ellipse mask tool, draw a mask over the middle of the grid and feather it out. But wait! nothing happened. That's because the effects are overriding the mask. No problem. Expand the effect drop down in the timeline and enable compositing options to apply the mask properly. And boom, a clean focused grid. Now let's add some futuristic text. Pick a sci-fi looking font, type your word and apply some layer styles. How to do this? Right click on the text, go to layer styles and here we are choosing the outer glow. For the settings I crank up the noise, the size and the spread. I choose a bright color, maybe size or magenta. And to spice things up, let's add some simple shapes like rectangles, crosses or circles. Whatever fits the look. And I also like animating a 3D line. For this I will be using the trim paths effect. Just take your pen tool and draw a line. Next I go to content, look for the add button and here I look for the trim paths effect. Then the only thing left is for me to animate the end property from 0 to 100%. Voila! It's animated. Now to give it that 3D look, again go to the layer styles and add a bevel and emboss effect. Tweak the settings for a fake 3D look. And look at that! Full retro futurism vibes. But do you know what's still missing? Something what makes every logo animation, any video, any 3D render better? Sound design and music. Luckily we have our sponsor for today. Audio. Audio is a platform for creators with extremely high quality music and sound effects. You can browse music and sound effects the traditional way or you can use the Hands AI tool. It's a setup where you can describe the song you need and boom! Endless results based on your description. Now with the Audio Pro app on iOS and Android, you can simply log in your account and browse music and sound effects wherever you are and whenever you want. I open up the app and start creating background music playlists for my videos, which you can then download later on on your computer. Absolutely beautiful. Now there's one thing I cannot forget to mention. Whenever you find a song you like, just click the lighting bolt and Audio will give you a huge list of similar songs. I honestly can't imagine going back to bad stock music. So definitely use the code AE Basics for 70% off the audio pro plan. Check out the link in the description below. Hello, now it's time for trend number two. Something I'm calling warping words. You've probably seen this style all over Instagram and title sequences. It's a morphing organic type animation that gives text a cool liquid like feel. Let's do it. Step one, convert the text to shapes. Right click on the text layer, go to create and choose create shapes from text. This gives us a new shape layer, but we need each letter on its own layer. So I duplicate the shape layer multiple times and delete the extra letters on each one. Now for this effect to work we need to animate the letter pads. Open the contents tab, find the pad property for a letter and create a keyframe. Move forward in time and stretch, skew or warp the letter by manipulating the shape pad. If a letter has a hole like an A or O, don't forget to animate that pad too. Do this for all the letters of course and make sure you never delete your original shape keyframe or you'll have to start from scratch. The cool part, you can get really creative with this. Some letters can squash others can stretch in different directions. Just make sure the motion feels fluid. And finally, 
Trend number three, the echo text. This one is all about adding a layered, time-delayed motion effect to typography. Super simple, but looks amazing. I hope you didn't remove your text layer because we'll be using it. Start by duplicating your text layer and changing the fill to none, that while keeping a stroke. Now, let's animate the main text first. A simple scale animation works great. On the moment the scale is at 100%, I want my echoes to appear and shoot upwards and downwards. So I take my stroke text layer and animate its position. I have it move upward over time. Then I let it hold in place for time and move it back down to create a trailing motion effect. I duplicate my stroke text and repeat this process multiple times. After that, I make sure to offset the layers in the timeline so the furthest echo appears last. Now I do the exact same thing but downwards. So some echoes go up and some go down. And just like that, we have a beautiful cascading echo text animation. And when we put it all together, we get this. Guess what? You can download the project file from our Patreon down below. You can then start using these techniques in your own work. Want to keep leveling up your After Effects skills even more? Click the video right here on my left. Thank you, Audio, so much for the support. And thank you guys so much for watching.